I'm Ted Johnson and I've owned Denver Optic Company for the last 36 years with my brother, board certified ocularist Walter Johnson. We've been coming to the Black Hills Regional Eye Institute since the late to 80s. serve monocular patients, fit and fabricate artificial we eyes. We basically see a patient four to six weeks after a surgery, uh, either an enucleation or an evisceration through an accident, uh, eye disease, uh, and after they are ready to be fit with an artificial eye, our ocularis takes an impression, then fits, fabricates, and paints to match the remaining eye identically. Once the patient has a surgery, whether it's an enucleation or an evisceration, generally the ophthalmologist or ocular plastic surgeon will replace that volume with an implant. That implant is tied into the remaining eye muscles and it serves to move the artificial eye as it relates to the good eye. When these are built, they're ground down, we take color samples, and we take videos of the patient's real eye. They're hand painted, the veins are at it, with red silk threads, and then when the process is finished, we cure clear plastic over the eye. That provides the depth that you see in a good eye, ground down, polished, and fit. The best thing about a plastic acrylic prosthetic is that it can be modified. So if you fit the eye and it's slightly large, you can take a little bit of the plastic off of the area where it is large and then adapt for changes during the person's life by slightly enlarging the prosthetic, slightly downsizing the prosthetic, so that at every different level of life, no matter what happens to the eye socket, the prosthetic eye will still look as lifelike as the remaining eye.